flood of purple light shines through a pattern of amethyst prisms, bathing this narrow space in a violet hue. With walls that stretch on and on, it appears this lavender-tinted passageway is the beginning of an undisclosed tunnel. Everybody wants to know about the tunnels. Whether we're in Chinatown or Old Town, people say, where are the tunnels? And I say, well, there really aren't any. Oh, but we've seen some glass blocks, and they're often referring to this, this place right here. As feet shuffle overhead, you may already recognize this space. This is what it looks like below the sidewalk on Broad Street. As much as I hoped it would lead to Victoria's underground, local historian John Adams says it's nothing more than an areaway. They're just spaces under the sidewalk, an extension of the basement, to provide a little bit of extra space. This is not the first time these extended basements have been mistaken for tunnels. The mystery of a secret tunnel network under Victoria has been talked about and explored for decades. But with no solid evidence yet discovered, John has a good reason to believe they don't exist. If you dig down anywhere in Victoria, you're going to find either solid rock or probably some very dense hard pan that is almost impossible these days even with a jackhammer to get through. But tunnel enthusiasts are still keeping an ear to the ground, trying to dig up any clues of a tunnel system. One of the most recent discoveries being a long passageway inside an ancient wall along Wharf Street. But John says he already explored this space when he was 11 years old. There's a big yellow brick archway here, but inside where the red brick is, had nothing. It was just open. And so, of course, we imagined that this was the entrance to a secret tunnel, and we thought we would probably emerge somewhere in Chinatown, and we clambered in. However, it was quite clear to our disappointment that it didn't go anywhere and never had. In fact, it's just another areaway, this time belonging to the old Hudson's Bay Company warehouse. I always ask, though, if anyone knows really where they are, let me know, because I really don't want to be the, the last in the city to know. Now, John Adams isn't convinced there's a secret underground tunnel system here in Victoria, but he does admit there are some tunnels. They weren't used for smuggling, but more for utility purposes, and one of them happens to be here at the Empress. Okay, here we are. Wayne Stoughton, the chief engineer at the Empress, led me into the sub-basement of the hotel, through a service tunnel and to the entrance of a closed off passage. The service, uh, service tunnel here was hooked up to this, this tunnel that went across over to the corner of Humboldt and Douglas where the power plant was uh, situated that served the Empress and also the Crystal Gardens. Wayne says this tunnel serviced laundry, garbage and hydro, but the power plant it connected to was closed in 1929, so the tunnel was no longer needed. So do you get people wondering though, is this the tunnel that leads to those secret tunnels? That's the question we get all the time, but it's, it's mythical. So we may not have found a secret tunnel on today's trek, but the mystery surrounding Victoria Tunnels still has traction. It just might take a deeper look. Under the city of Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.